you know, we can expect some more detrimental uh, effects uh, long term. So this is not a short term issue. This is going to kind of be with us for decades, probably. Right. And then would you say that's also the case because the, the spike protein is always mutating? Yeah. And we don't know what those changes will, you know, will make them more, more harmful or less. We don't, we don't really know. Um, but part of our defense mechanism, which was supposed to protect us, and it did in SARS-CoV-1, mm-hmm. there's something called furin and uh, trypsin that will help break the S spike is that little big spike protein, the S1 and the S2. The S1 is, is uh, responsible for attaching to the receptors on all of our cells. Mm-hmm. The S2 part actually pulls the virus closer to the human cell so that it can fuse. And then the mRNA from the virus is then injected into the human cell, for, in- for instance. So with other coronaviruses, we have a defense mechanism uh, it's a it's a protein called furin, and uh, there's another one called trypsin. And what they do is they cleave and separate the S1 and S2. Unfortunately, with the current virus, the SARS-CoV-2, it makes it more pathological, not less. So that furin cleavage um, will actually make the virus S1 spike protein more pathologic for human cells. That's real unfortunate.